Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Guys, I'm going to try to keep doing uh, a show every day. I, I, it's been a crazy, crazy month for me. Um, I was supposed to do that show. Uh, I did the show um, on uh, Berlanga. This is audio issue. I deleted it. It's been weeks since I put a show up. I'm going to do a show. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to get into Terrence Crawford. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe to 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Also, please check out the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, so let's get into today's show. Uh, Tex- um, Terrence Crawford, the PBC. Um, that's a big question. Um, it's what we've been hoping for for years. It, it looks like, it seems like, Possibly, maybe, allegedly, it's going to happen. Um, in there's a lot for for Terrence Crawford, a guy that really doesn't fight very often. Um, this is big news, right? Uh, for a guy that doesn't fight very often, Terrence Crawford keeps himself in the news. Um, first, he was suing Top Rank. Um, I, I guess that's got to go through its process. It's you know, um, of racial discrimination. We'll, we'll see where the facts come out. Um, and, and we'll, we'll, you know, that will take care of itself. You know, little news will come out. Um, also, um, he was calling out Spence going back and forth. Um, he seems to have given up on that fight. It looks like he's going to move to 54 and fight the winner of Charlo Castano. I don't know if he can come back down to 47 after that. You know, these things, he's 34 now, believe it or not, right? Um, it, it, he was 29 or 30 when he became undisputed 140 pound champion. He's been at 47 for a while. Uh, he just doesn't fight that often. Um, he's 34 now, so this is the last leg of his career. He's got another two years left, probably, of, of high level boxing. Uh, but he's got to take care of business now. He's got to take care of business. Um, like I said, he, he says he wants to fight a two fight deal with PBC, and, and this is all alleged. alleged. Um, I, I'm hoping those fights would be Spence. Should he win the winner of uh, then move to 54 and fight Castano, Charlo winner, or whoever you know is undisputed at 54 at that particular time? Um, is that at this point, is that just you know optimistic? Is that just you know, is this just wishing? Is that reality? We're gonna find out how much of Crawford not fighting the PPC guys was political how much of it was just they're on different sides of the street and how much of it is they don't really want to fight each other i mean there's no excuses now um I, uh, is it thurman is it spence is he gonna say 47 I, I don't know um at 54 is, is it charlo Castano? i mean I, I guess there's kind of three or four names on the table i guess it's 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 thurman spence is the obvious one the winner of charlo Castano and boots you know, we've heard that, uh, but all these things are, are, are more possible now, right? They, they seemed a bit far-fetched um, when he was on the top rank side, um, even though it didn't have to be. They easily could have made these fights. There's a lot of money in these fights. Uh, PBC's been putting a lot of ridiculous things on, on pay-per-view. Uh, they made Crawford Porter with no problem. They didn't even have to go to purse bids. They just made the fight. If you could just make Crawford Porter, you could just make Crawford Thurman. You could just make Crawford Spence. You could just make Crawford Boots. You could just make Crawford Castano Charlo winner, whoever you have there, right? Like you could just make these fights. It's not. It's It's that easy. It's that easy. You could just make Charlo Castano. But, uh, Charlo, uh, you, you, I mean, you could just make Crawford, Charlo Crawford Castano. You could just make, you could just make these fights because they just did it. Right. And I said, if Crawford Porter didn't get made, it's a hundred percent on Crawford because Porter fought every other top welterweight. Right. And they were all PBC. He made a fight with Cal Brook. Not a problem. Okay, so you can't use that excuse. So if that fight didn't happen, it was like Crawford. If I happened, so it's all good. 
and it was a great fight. But now, uh, do we get Crawford Thurman? Do we get Crawford Spence? What do we get? And if not, why aren't these fights being made when they're also on the same side of the street? We still haven't gotten Thurman Spence. You know, there's still. Are we going to get Boots Spence? Are we going to get Boots Thurman? Are we going to get these fights? Are they going to seemingly be able to avoid each other again? I don't know. But um, it seems possible now. Um, it, it, it's it's the right side of this. Can we, you know, can we get Ugas? I mean, I, I respect to fight Ugas, obviously. Uh, but even if Ugas loses in a competitive fight, he's still of value. Who are we gonna? What wh- what are we gonna get now? Right? Because this is this is it for Crawford. Like I said, Crawford's probably got two years left of elite level boxing. So that's somewhere between two and four fights. You know, he hasn't fought twice in a year in in, in a while. I think twenty nineteen. I don't know. I, I I'll look it up real quick. When the last time Crawford fought twice in the same year. Um. So he's probably got. Two to four fights left uh, of of being, you know, this this great Hall of Fame caliber fighter. I'm not saying he can't fight for more than another two years. He can, uh, but at this level, he's 38. No, um, he, he fought 121. Yeah, he fought tw- the last time he fought twice in a year was 2019. So he fought once in 2020, once in 2021, and obviously hasn't fought yet this year. So. You know, four times might be wishful thinking. Four times in two years might be wishful thinking. Maybe he fights two to three times in the next two years, um, which would get up to 41 and 0, 40 and 0, 41 and 0. It's pretty good. Um, and then, I'm, you know, if he stays around long enough, fights into his old age, he'll eventually lose, um, as they all do. Um, if he fights till he's 40, he's eventually going to lose. Um, but. If this looks like it's going to happen, and I, I think there's going to be three fights. I, I kind of think he's going to 54. I, I don't think this fight with Spence is going to happen. Maybe it'll happen at 54. You know, could it happen? Could you know, if he goes and fights the winner of Charlo Castano, and I'd pick him to win that fight, does Spence go up to 54 and fight him for the undisputed 154 pound crown? It's a possibility, right? It's a possibility. Um, so it's going to leave. I, I, I do think, kind of my head, his next fight is Charlo Castano winner. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, all forms, uh, Texas Boxing, all proceeds. I'm sorry, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 25th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.